Oh yes, it's that Friday feeling and you're back in the hangar with Dad's RC hangar. Yeah. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? And how you doing? And everything else have you doing? Yes, it's that weekend and you know that Friday feeling has begun. Why has it begun? Because you're watching Chris at Dad's RC hangar. Anyway, we are going to be firing up the false 46 aero engine um, on the boomerang. I want to get it started before I finish the build just in case it kind of like blows up. That little squeaky noise just really gets to me. So without ado, a do do do, let's fire it up! Alrighty, back in the room. Now but before we fire it up, we're not going to do it in the hangar, we're going to do it outside. So um, let's um, take you outside. There you go, a little fire up, nothing major, nothing big, nothing awesome. It's uh, just my little 7.45cc little engine. Now I'm gonna run it in a bit longer. I've got some fuel left in the tank, so I'm gonna do that for the rest of the day. But I thought if you just sat there and watched a propeller, even though it'd probably be kind of cool, it'd be a long video just watching a propeller. 
Yes. I kind of like it. The smell of nitro. Oh yeah. The smell of nitro in the afternoon, because it's not morning, but morning is a lovely smell indeed. I do love it. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do like um, I do like uh, battery, but nitro is good too. So let's have a little check out of the bits and pieces inside. Alrighty, so back in the hangar. So what sort of setup we got? So now you did see that uh, I have got automatic ignition, but I didn't charge my batteries. <laughs> yeah, silly me. So I've still got a bit of fuel in the tank because I am going to take this out afterwards and just run a, a whole tank of fuel uh, just to run the engine in a bit more. I mean, it went, went well. It did went well. Uh, yes, you might have seen or you might not have seen. Yes, I broke it. I did. It, it, it broke off. It broken. <laughs> Long story, but yeah, I need to get a new exhaust. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. So I've just taken a pipe, I've kept that in there nice with a bit of sponge. Uh, we've got the ignition cables coming uh, coming through. Uh, where, where are we pointing down there? It's hard to tidy this with the, with the iPhone cam. Uh, there you go, you've got your two packs of um, uh, six volt batteries they're 2000 milliamp um, now there is two uh, as you see i've got two uh, switches which we'll have a look at in a minute uh, one is basically to uh, for the um, electronics another one is just for the igniter and uh, to keep it separate so i just put them in there there are on like a little plank that i made um, but uh, i've just left them light in there because i need to see the cfg and uh, to see if they're okay there um, <coughs> Now, obviously, we've got our servos here. So this is our throttle servo. You can see I put a bit of sponge here. I mean, basically, um, I put a bit of sponge because it's nice and light. So I thought I might make the plane lighter if I put it in there. Yes, OK. Right, so uh, then we've got our easy. It's not it's slow. I, I can never remember the name of this. Uh, but it's basically so the, um, the front wheel doesn't go for the full extent, which it doesn't with the rudder when the rudder is connected on there. I haven't put the tail section on because it's so huge. So I wanted to get all my electronics working and the engine fired up before I started doing that. And then you have your um, elevators and your ailerons are in the wing, as you can see. Now behind here, we have got our um, automatic igniter. Um, that is Prolux igniter. And in there, you have got a Menace RC switch, uh, which obviously, instead of having like the little push switch, um, you have that so it runs off the uh, the receiver. Uh, and then I've got a little light back here um, that uh, was part of the uh, igniter, that, just so I can see it when it's lit up when I'm in front of the plane. Now you notice that uh, basically this doesn't come with a hatch. Um, it come with a window that I actually cut out. It's not that great. I mean, if I can just pull, yeah, there, there we go. Zip. <laughs> I'll stick my R10, uh, R10 Pro in there. The reason I put that in there because they're great for nitro engines uh, because they don't uh, they don't pick up the interference that engines make so basically i cut out this hatch uh, which was uh, in black anyway and as you can see I, there's the hatch now you're probably asking why i've done that well i was going to make a little something and it all went wrong so i just stuck it back in there um, i've done little two little tabs and um, that that, uh, that i'll show you that push in in the moment and then there's a little balsa floor it doesn't weigh anything and they all go there as you can see the um uh, uh, the uh, oh my god XT30 sorry the XT30 plug uh, which comes straight from uh, the switch and also down uh, the power to there also goes uh, for the um, well it's underneath here but it's also an XT30 male and female that connect together for that but I thought that's a nice position obviously horizontal and vertical aerials in there um, so there you go there's the horizontal and the verticals down there which is nice and this basically um, it just pushes back and then puts in and sits in nicely because I've put the, the actual cutout on there. I haven't done anything here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. As you can see, it's come through, which is a bit of annoyingness. Um, I use the um, all trim, this stuff. All trim, which is great stuff. Um, that just sticks over it, uh, which I've done a boo-boo, which I'll show you in a second um, to cover it. But I think that's okay. That's fine. That's fine for what it is. So that's basically the setup. So it's nice and clean in there. Um, we've got a little uh, cap that goes on here. I can change my hand, and then there's a little screw in there, which I've got somewhere. I actually cut down so it wasn't so many turns on the screw. 
Um, unfortunately, I still haven't fixed my overhead cam, so I've got the IFO cam. Yes, so then that sits down nicely like that, and then obviously you've got the mess on the floor. Oh, what's that down there? Oh, it's a wing. We don't know what that's for. Uh, so we've got to put the uh, put the uh, little uh, red box in there to the, the sequencer. Oh, look, halo! You can see my halo. Yes, I know my fingernails are bad, but uh, yeah, it's a lack of something which I've been to the doctors and is taking blood. So if you remember, we're going to sort all that out. And there you go. So I'm ready to rock and roll and get everything together. I mean, we fired the engine up, which is great, and uh, it works. I'm going to finish off the fuel to get a run in a bit. As I say, um, it would have used this igniter instead of my little glow plug, but the battery, I haven't charged these up. Um, let me show you the actual charge points. So there you go, that's the little switch mechanism that you can see in there. Each battery has a little charge point. Now, I don't know if I feel comfortable charging them up while they're sat in there, but you can do. But obviously, uh, one of them needs a bit of a charge, which I forgot to charge one of them. The receiver's okay. Uh, but that's when I went to plug it in, it just... Uh, uh, the co the uh, glow plug just literally sucked the power out and it wasn't going to have it. So, And then if you are on the social media, which I'm sure some of you are, yes. This is what happens when, when a hot glue gun meets the side of an aeroplane. <laughs> but I've got, some, I've got some stuff. I've got some orange, red, black and whatever. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to follow all these colours. It's just going to be a band just to cover it up. But I'll just cut out this piece here. Um, and then and then cover it ready to fly. I mean, you know, it's just literally it's going to be my sort of a, a plane that's going to come back with me because it, it has to because it's a boomerang. Well, there you go. A rather quick video from Dad's RC Hangar. I know it's unheard of, but uh, I've tried to stop the waffling on today. <laughs> oh, I could have waffled on for England. Tell me. Trust me, should I say. So don't forget your poppy. Yes, put your poppy on and be proud of all those people that look after us around the world. Um, I don't know if you had the poppy in other countries. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, we do in England to remember those who um, who passed protecting our country. So thank you to them. But anyway, let's not talk about that. Boomerang. Yes, I thought I might make a bit of video of me cutting out a sticker and sticking it on. But you don't need to see that. You'll see that when the boomerang's ready. Still no Paul Heckles at the moment. He's a busy, busy, busy man. So, but I think uh, this weekend I'm going to get, uh, hopefully this weekend, <laughs> time is always against me. Uh, I'm going to get everything built now. Now I know the engine works. I'm going to run her in a bit more. Um, obviously, uh, when I'm with Paul, he'll be able to tweak it for me. Um, I might even get hold of Captain Blaz uh, over, or Blush, Blaz, I call him Blaz. Captain Blaz over the weekend and to see if we can just dial it in. We can do a bit of FaceTiming action um, and see if we can dial it in. Um, yeah, so any questions that you want to know, uh, please put down in the uh, description or comments, should I say, in description is the parts and bits and pieces that I actually put on this bird. Um, and of course, I'm using my tandem, my X20S tandem, uh, which is uh, is getting better and better by version by version, um, which I really like to use. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for the boomerang, really, apart from the maiden, um, which hopefully will be coming soon. Um, I'm not going to waffle on about when and how and what for, because um, that's all uh, a bit of waffle. So anyway, if you're going to get out and fly this weekend, because the weather is, is, you know, cross fingers, it's going to be cold, but sunny and low winds. So um, if you can get out and fly, get out there and fly. And I'm sure I'll be watch it, watching your channel on YouTube um, uh, later on over the weekend. But if you can't, then get in the hangar, start to build stuff. Um, I've still got to build a lot of stuff and I've still got to be build the Antoinette. Um, I've still got to crack into that, but I wanted to get the boomerang finished and just time is always against me. It's so annoying. Yes, it is. But anyway, I'm happy. I'm enjoying life um, just because I'm around RC planes and RC stuff and this hobby is fantastic. And every one of you is helping build this hobby by either doing something with it or watching me. So, <laughs> I am bombshell. You have a lovely weekend and listen, thanks for popping by. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to give us a thumbs up and, and, a, and a subscribe on the way out, even better. That helps the channel. It really does. But until then, keep safe, be safe, but most of all, have some fun. See you later now. Ta-da. <laughs>